All right, yeah. and action. All right, so we just got out. I mean, we, we've been out here for a little while. And as you can see, Four we did time some time. freaking damage. Let, let me, let me, let me lift this up for the camera one time. Buck, 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 buck. Yeah, no. <laughs> just did like four hours of diving. We out here with Dave. Big running behind the camera, did some diving. Stay tuned to watch some fucking, this fucking epic cool diving, fucking boy. Sweet boy, we're trying to find fish. Epic mm. fucking diving. Yellow fins. We got the fucking mackerel in oil, boy. Let's see. All, all sorts of things laid out oh. here, but you can see it in the video. Watch. All right, what's up, guys? Uh, we're back, and I'm letting this clip play a little longer because I wanted to ask all you guys a question before we get to it. It was whether you guys liked this style of video or not whether you wanted me to speak like this just let me know down in the comments if if you do whether you don't give me some suggestions but um right here i had just gotten this new pole spear and the grip was really slippery so i like had to hold on with two hands to shoot this fish kind of funny but very nice hogfish for sure bad shot but very nice hogfish Buddy, shit, slippery as fuck, boy. And as you can see right here, I'm just braining the fish. I like to do that with all my fish. I bleed a lot of my fish as well, especially the ones that I'm eating. But most of the fish from today were getting sold, and hogfish aren't really that bloody, anyways. This next fish here, this is David diving actually, and hold on, yeah, very nice hogfish once again. Two minutes later, literally just swam by another great big male hogfish. Stoned him with the sling, awesome shot. Coming up right here is just a video of me showing a hogfish, which I did not get on video. Another really nice male hog. Right here, this is my brother lining up. Boom, hits him with the spine shot. Nice little mass off. This is a very funny clip actually. A little Kubera went into here and um, I was going down to see if I could find him and he pops out. <laughs> I took a shot which I think was on target. <laughs> As you can see he dodged me. I don't know. I'll play it for slow in slow motion here but you let me know. I, I think it was on target. Let me know down in the comments whether you think I just missed. I think I think it was on target and he dodged me though. Uh, anyways, uh, this is a, a big Nassau that me and Toby watched hold up here. And uh, it took us a while to find him, but there was this one area that I knew he had to be in. And as you can see, I brought a light over and I spot he was just sitting right there staring at me. So as he turned, I stuck him in the body and uh, left him down there to do his thing, kind of get situated. And um, dude, this, it was a... It was a very big mission to get this thing out. There was sharks everywhere because we had been shooting fish earlier in this spot already. So David had to anchor the boat um, so that three of us were in the water. We had one person working the fish at a time. We had people scouting for sharks, coming down to poke sharks off, let the person that's doing the work on the fish pull it out. But yeah, it took us a solid few dives. Obviously, I'm going to cut out a bunch of stuff and make it more to make it more interesting and not just a bunch of people sitting in a hole trying to pull a fish out but yeah took a few dives but in this dive specifically I got him in a pretty good spot where he got was right stuck up against the front of the hole and from this point on I kind of knew all we had to really do was get his gills kind of closed and pull him out. It was a pretty tight hole for a big fish. It was about a 15 pound Nassau. So yeah, I'll just let it play out and you can, you can watch. Right here, you can see David just kind of pulling on it, tugging on it, trying to get it out. But this fish had been bleeding out for so long, I knew he was dead. So I just knew that all I had to do was really just reach my hands up in there, close his gills, and he'd just slide right out. And that's pretty much exactly what he did. Wow. 
Fuck me. So um, we have been seeing lots of permit around all day, and I don't really shoot permit too often unless they're very, very big, and I'm trying to beat my own personal record. But David really wanted one, and he'd been telling us to shoot one. So I saw these two that were like good eater sizes because he wanted to eat them, obviously. So I went down. They they were sit sitting in this cave. They're pretty easy to shoot in these caves. They just kind of do circles, and you'll see something very odd happened here and I'm not quite sure what it was right there I hit him I'm gonna show you in slow motion here I hit him very clearly just right in the gill plate and I don't exactly know what happened because I know that pollster has way more than enough power to get through that smaller permits head it did what I was just see later on with a way bigger fish but um, yeah I managed to chase this thing down because he was bleeding out very heavily and he rocked up here and came out and I don't know I think this this permit must have been some sort of magical fish because you'll see it again I hit him very good here and I, I guess I just had a lot of kinks in my tip so I, I guess this was the tip just finally giving out as you can see look I'm very confused you'll watch here in two seconds Boom, he's, he's just off my spear and I'm freaking out. I'm like, what have but you can see if you look closely you can see that's just like the end of my tip that holds it onto the spear. It just came off. But yeah, David came over. The thing was laying dead right there to the side of him and he just popped the hogfish that was sitting next to it real quick and then grabbed my fish for me. I got this for you. You want to eat this, right? Yeah, I'm going to eat this. Alright, sorry. <laughs> and I don't know. I, this, it must have been the rust from me just not diving for so long from being in college. I don't know what was going on. But as you know, my tip broke, so I had to switch it out for a new one. <laughs> I guess I, I don't know if it was me or my brother. I can't remember exactly who put the tip on, but I guess I put it on wrong. But you can see here, there's a nice little black grouper sitting in this hole here. And uh, you're just, I'll just let it play and you'll see what happens and I'll speak after. Right here you can see I knew I hit the fish but I pull it out and the tip just comes off so I knew I, I, I pretty much I stoned the black grouper and I went to pull it out and the tip just came off my spear because I put it on wrong. <laughs> I can't believe I put the tip on wrong. So right here is a cool little dive. We basically had been gutting most of the fish that we had on the boat to try and chum up the area, see what swam around. and um, Nothing too crazy really swam around. As you can see, I'm just doing a dive because I wanted to see if anything serious sort of came in. but. I was doing this dive to shoot a little strawberry grouper, which is a great eating little grouper. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that nothing else that was worth shooting was around before I decided to go ahead and shoot this grouper here. Yeah, and right here you'll see me just do a little half choke because I didn't want to hit the rock behind the fish and I knew it had more than enough power. So quick tip for if you don't want to dull your tip out too much. And coming up right now is the fish of the day. I want to explain the story, but I'll I'll let the clip play first. Um, big Kubera. Um, pretty much, I had seen a few swim into this head, right? And but I saw it was three of them. I saw two swim out and I didn't see another one come out. I saw them way off in the distance so I swam over and figured you know he had to still be in there and luckily I turned on my GoPro just in case and he was just sitting right there but he went crazy dragging through all sorts of reef systems chasing him down and it was pretty hard to spot him but we saw where the blood was coming from and we kind of knew but that was David putting another shaft in him and then this is me going down to retrieve him.
getting this fish was just an awesome relief. I've I've had some serious bad luck with some of the bigger Kuberas in my past. All all 50 plus pound fish as well. Just losing them in very stupid ways that just didn't really make sense, pretty much. And so just to get one of this size was just a great, great thing for me. I This one, I think, went 35 gutted, so out of water here would have easily been pushing 40 pounds. Fuck yeah, boy! That knocked him out, finish. Huh? The last show they put him in. That fucking knocked him out. Look at that, boy. Come on, shit! Look at the fucking size of this fish. Oh my god. Oh! Another one went in the same fucking hole. Huh? Another one just went in the same fucking hole that I shot this one in. Someone stop! And after shooting that Cubera, this place just lit up. Everything came out of their holes. There was grouper everywhere. This is David plugging a nice yellowfin grouper. Just everything started swimming out. There was big tiger groupers everywhere. Some mutton swimming around bunch more Kuberas swimming around it was actually it was crazy we got into a, a serious tear here of getting some getting some good fish in the boat and yeah this fish here was barely hanging on by a thread so I just wanted to play it safe and get a knife in him to finish him off nice shot off. huh he almost, almost got off, off. And right after he shot that, I looked down and there's some groupers sitting around. So I just quickly took his sling out because Toby was switching the injector rod on my pole spear out after that Kubera. And there was two sitting here. I was going for one, but then I saw one off to the side. That's the one that I was going for originally. But um, saw this bigger one off to the side, so I went and used the sling on him. And this, I just, I really hadn't used one in so long. So I'm surprised that I made my mark. Yeah, solid fish. I might honestly get back into shooting the sling. It's actually really fun, to be honest. I really hadn't used one in solid, I'd say two years, to be honest. Definitely going to talk to Brad over at Head Hunter about getting a gorilla sling. That would be a lot of fun to use this summer, for sure. Bye, boy. I used a sling in so long. <laughs> Fuck me. Hey, just take this. in the work and right here this is David plugging up really big zero with the free shaft sling this thing went crazy as you know these things do They're really fast and just like the base don't stop moving but yeah um, I don't get it on film but right as I put the finishing shot in it his spear fell out so it was pretty lucky perfect timing And right here, as you can see, just as always, brain, fish, and this one was going to be an eater, so decided to bleed him, and all you got to do is just slide that knife up under that gill, those gills right there, and yeah, you can see it just starts gushing blood. That just makes the meat quality a lot better, but anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video. This is just a few clips of us heading in, and then right at the end, you'll see us throwing the fish all on the dock, and um just the whole pile of fish that we got that day. This was just, I think it was like three and a half, four hours of diving, so great day to be honest. All right guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to subscribe and like this video. It'll help me out a lot. And um, yeah, as I said at the start, I'm looking for suggestions. If you like this long format with the talking behind it, let me know. I'd love to keep doing it. But if you'd rather it just be blank or maybe with some music behind, let me know. You eat that? Uh, well.
Ese es, ah, ah, libre.